Good morning, students. Welcome to the seventh part of the chapter, Coordinate Geometry. The topic that we are going to discuss in this part is slope of a straight line. Now we are going to learn what is meant by the slope of a straight line and how to calculate the slope of a given straight line. Before going to the topic, you observe these diagrams, these pictures actually. Now there is a lone coconut tree on a beach and here you have a slide in a park. I think you all love this very much. And this is the staircase of a building. And then you have a man who is taking a load to a place which is at a height than the earth. So he is using, can you tell me what is this called? Yes, it's actually called an inclined plane. And then in all these pictures, there is one thing which is common. Can you tell me what is that? Yeah, in, in all these pictures, there are actually straight lines which are inclined. So this coconut tree and this slide or in this case, there are actually three different coconut trees and each of them is making a different angle with the ground. This is almost vertical and this pink one and this red one are actually making different angles with this ground. Then you have this case and in this stair case, the stairs on the both sides are making different angles. Of course, actually they make the same according to the picture as the photograph, they are showing it as a different. Now here, this person is also taking the load on an inclined plane and this inclined plane is also making some angle with the ground. Now this is the topic that we are going to discuss today. Now here on this coordinate plane, there are different lines, actually there are five lines and if you observe, there are, these lines are inclined with a different angle with the x-axis. We call this as inclined or slanting or steep. In Telugu, we call them as vali undadam, valu, you know this word, right? Now, we have to discuss one important concept here before going to the concept of slope of a straight line. Here I have a tra straight line M and this straight line M is making an angle of 45 degrees with the X axis. Now here you have to understand one thing. Now in our daily life we observe a clock. This is a clock I have shown here. Now you observe the direction in which the hands of the clock are rotating. They rotate in this direction. Now the hands of a clock rotate in a direction which is shown here. This is the direction in which the hands of a clock rotate. This direction is called clockwise direction because this is the direction which the hands are rotating. Now here I have shown the angle in the opposite direction. You look at this. I have shown the arrow in this direction. This direction is called counterclockwise direction. Some say it is an anti-clockwise direction. Now this is the direction which is called counterclockwise direction, right? Now here I have measured the angle in which direction I have measured the angle in counterclockwise direction. Now this angle a particular straight line makes with the x axis in counterclockwise direction is called angle of inclination. This is the important concept you have to keep in your mind. So this 45 degrees is called angle of, angle of inclination of the straight line M. So the angle made by a straight line with the x axis in which direction? This is the important thing here. Counterclockwise direction, this angle is called angle of inclination. You have seen different angles here for a coconut tree or a slide and then you have an inclined plane in which the person is taking the goods. You have a staircase. In all these cases, they are making some angle with the ground. That angle is called angle of inclination. To take this here, I have another straight line P. And what is the angle of inclination of this straight line? It's actually 113 degrees. As a matter of interest, I am asking you a question. Can you tell me how much is this angle? How much is the angle here? As this is 113 degrees, can you tell me how much is this? How much is this angle? Yeah, this is actually 16. How much? 67. Because you have to subtract this from 180 because they are forming the linear phase. Now let us move on to this topic. So this is the angle of inclination. Now here, this angle of inclination always lies between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. So a straight line can have angle of inclination 
any range between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. We have some special cases in these angle of inclinations. For example, take a look at this. How are these straight lines? What is the angle made by the straight lines with the x-axis? As you can see, they are making right angles here. So, this we say that these are actually vertical lines. So, the angle of inclination for a vertical line is 90 degrees. So, these electric poles which we see in our daily life or the pillars that are laid before construction of its, I mean, a building and the walls of our house, these all make 90 degrees with the ground. So, they are, we call them as vertical lines and the angle of inclination for these lines is how many degrees? 90 degrees. Now, these are which type of lines? These are actually horizontal lines. Now, what is the angle between this green line and this x-axis? Are they intersecting here? There is no intersection. So, for an angle to be formed, we need intersecting lines. But these two lines are actually parallel lines. So, we say that the angle of inclination is 0 degrees. Sometimes we say that the angle of inclination is 180 also because when a straight line rotates from 0 degrees to 180 degrees, its position for both angles 0 degrees and 180 degrees is the same. I will show you later how 0 and 180 are equal. So, these angle of inclinations are related to the slope of a straight line. Except for vertical lines and horizontal lines, the angle of inclination always lies between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. So, here we have to discuss an important mathematical concept of a straight line which is called slope of a straight line. So, as you have seen angle of inclination, we relate this angle of inclination to a constant for a straight line which is called slope of the line. So, slope is a numerical value which is a real number and this slope is sometimes called gradient also. So, slope of a straight line is also called what is the other name we can use? We can use the word gradient and as we know maths is the language of symbols, slope of a straight line is denoted with the letter m. So, angle of inclination is related to the slope and this inclination we express using a numerical value, we call it as slope of the line. What is the other name of slope of a straight line? Very good. It is gradient. What is the letter that we denote the sim I mean slope with? Exactly, it is m. Now, we will take different cases of straight lines and we will have, we will know how to calculate the slope of a given straight line on the coordinate plane. Here, I have taken three straight lines in different colors, blue, black and red. Now, each of these straight lines have actually their own address. For example, this black line is equation is minus 4x plus 2y plus 12 equal to 0. As each and every point on a coordinate plane has its own address with the coordinates 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 3 and 7. A straight line also has an equation as an address in the form of an equation. Here, this f is the name of the straight line. Now, the name, the address of this red straight line is minus 2x minus y is equal to minus 18. And the address of this blue straight line is 3x minus 4y plus 12 equal to 0. So, these are the addresses of these straight lines. So, as you see here, each of these lines are making a different angle with the x-axis. What is the angle of inclination of this black line? It is 63 degrees. What is the angle of inclination of this red line? It is 117 degrees. Now, what is the angle of inclination of this uh, blue line? It is actually 45 degrees. We say that this black line has more steepness than this blue line because the angle of inclination is more. This steepness we relate to a constant called, what is that word called? It's a slope of a straight line. Let us see how can we calculate the slope of this straight line. Here I have taken another straight line and what is the angle of inclination here? It's actually 113 degrees. So the angle of inclination of this straight line is 113 degrees. Now you observe here I have written it as angle of inclination is uh, 13 degrees. Now, as I am moving this, you can observe the inclination. What is happening to the inclination? It is actually changing. Now here, if you observe, as I am moving this cursor, the angle of inclination is changing. Now if you observe here, 
you now observe this what is happening to the angle of inclination now this is actually changing from it is moving from which angle to which which value to which value it's actually rotating and that look at how the angle is changing this is now increasing from 0 and it has reached a maximum value of 180 now again as it is rotating the angle is coming to 0 again and it is starting from 0 once again now if you observe here what is the angle of inclination here it is 156 degrees now you can see the direction of this straight line as the angle of inclination is changing the direction is also changing now you can see here this is 654 and what is the angle of inclination here it is zero because it is parallel to the x-axis actually it is coinciding with the x-axis now i told you previously that angle of inclination either it is zero degrees or 180 degrees is the same i'll show you how now you observe how the angle is changing here now when i make the angle of inclination 180 degrees look at here this is again coinciding with the x-axis so for a horizontal line the angle of inclination is either 0 degrees or 180 degrees so now as you see the position as the straight line is rotating it is the angle of inclination is changing here so as the angle of inclination is changing the position of the straight line is also changing at each and every point the equation of the straight line also changes we will stop the discussion on this point here and we will move how to actually calculate the slope of a straight line what is the formula that we can use here let us continue here i have taken a straight line and i have taken two points on the straight line a and b now i am going to calculate what is the angle of i mean what is the slope of the straight line now see now when i move from point a to point b the coordinates have changed here the x and y coordinates of the point a are 4 and 2 and the coordinates of b are 6 and 6 suppose you start a journey from a and you reach point b along this straight line now slope is how the y coordinates change according to the change in the x coordinate that is what we have to study here for example take this case how much is x1 x here it is 4 at, at a it is 4 and at b it is 6 so the value of x changed from 4 to 6 so 6 minus 4 it is 2 so change in the value of x is 2 and what is the change in the value of y it was actually 2 at a and it became 6 so 6 minus 4 is 6 minus 2 is 4 so change in the value of y is 4 and change in the value of x is 2 these are the important values that we have to make use of here so when you move from this point to this now let us check how the values have changed and let us calculate the slope of this straight line for this what we have to do is we have to calculate the change in the value of y this is the first point and this is the second point we have to subtract the first point values from the second we have to take this as x1 y1 and this has x2 y2 subtract 2 from 6 so it is 6 minus 2 4 and let us sub let us subtract change find the change in the value of x 6 minus 4 is 2 now the calculation of slope is very simple what you have to do is you just have to divide these two that's all now the formula for slope comes as this slope is change in y divided by change in x here change in y means change in the coordinates of y coordinates and change in the x coordinates what is the change in y coordinates here it is 4 and what is the change in x coordinates it is 2 so the slope comes to be 4 by 2 now the concept here is for 2 units of change in x y is changed to 4 for example you bought 2 chocolates for 10 rupees what is the chocolate cost of each chocolate cost of 2 chocolates is 10 then cost of 1 chocolate is 5 rupees here also for a change of 2 units in x y is changed by 4 units so if x changes by only one value how much by x, y will change it will change by 2 so that is the slope here so slope comes to be 4 by 2 it is 2 so this is how you calculate the slope of a given straight line whenever you are given two points on a straight line it's very simple you have to subtract 
the y coordinates or that means you have to find the change in y coordinates you have to find the change in x coordinates suppose you take this as x1 y1 and x2 y2 y2 minus y1 you have to calculate then you have to calculate x2 minus x1 then you have to divide these two that's all this is how you can calculate the slope of a given straight line now we'll take another example and we'll find the slope of that line also let us find the slope of this straight line here i have taken another straight line and as i told you i have taken two points on this straight line c 9 0 and d again 6 and 6 here now you have to calculate the slope of this line now i am moving from c to d c is actually 9 0 and d is 6 6 so x is 9 at c and that 9 changed to 6 so from 9 it has become 6 and y coordinate from 0 it has become 6 as i told you we have to calculate the change in the value of y so here change in value of y is 6 minus 0 6 now you have to calculate the change in x also what is the change in x x was actually 9 so 6 minus 9 it will be minus 3 so you have to remember one thing if you take this first this has a first point and this has a second point from second point you have to subtract the values of the first point right now as it as we know what is the value for slope slope is change in y by change in x so change in y is 6 and change in x is minus 3 so here this comes to be 6 by minus 3 3 in 6 goes two times because there is a negative here slope of this straight line is actually minus 2 now here there is an important concept here slope is actually a characteristic of a straight line but not the points which are on it by taking any two points on this straight line you will get the same value of the slope i'll find the slope of this straight line by taking two other points on the same straight line and check whether we get the same value or not for example here i have taken a point q 7 4 and i have taken another point r 5 and 8 now i have i want to calculate the slope of this straight line using these two coordinates now suppose i move from q to r x changed from 7 to 5 and y changed from 8 to 4 so you have to find 5 minus 7 which is a change in x 8 minus 4 which is a change in y let us find let us calculate the slope here what is the change in y 8 minus 4 4 and what is the change in x it's actually 5 minus 7 it is minus 2 now as we know slope is change in y divided by change in x so here change in y is 4 and change in x is minus 2 so it is 4 by minus 2 you will have minus 2 so if you observe here i have calculated the slope using two points here c and d and i have calculated the slope of the same straight line using some other points on the same straight line but you have got the same value so by taking any two points on the straight line we can calculate the slope of the straight line this is how you calculate the slope of a straight line now we'll discuss how to calculate the slope when two points are given but not the graph here we have calculated the slope by using this coordinate plane but when you are given only the points but not the graph how can you find the slope of the straight line let us discuss now look at this example calculate the slope of the line passing through the points 6 2 and 5 4 so here we are given two points and the line is passing through these two points and you have to find the slope of that particular straight line so these are the two points we are which are given as i told you slope of the line is given by difference of y coordinates divided by difference of x coordinates while we are discussing the graph i write it i wrote it as change in y by change in x now here you have to take this as x1 y1 and this point as x2 y2 so first you have to find difference of y coordinates that means you have to find y2 minus y1 that will be the numerator and then you have to find the difference of x coordinates this is x2 minus x1 so this is slope is given by this is the formula actually this is the genuine formula you have to use slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so here y2 minus y1 is 4 minus 2 divided by x2 minus x1 is 5 minus 6 so numerator is 2 and denominator is minus 1 so this will give you minus 2 so this is how you can calculate the slope of a straight line using this simple formula let us take one more example calculate the slope of the straight line passing through the points p and q 
Where P is 3 minus 2 and Q is 7 4. As we discussed, what's the formula for a slope? Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So this is X1 Y1 and this is X2 Y2. Y2 minus Y1. 4 minus of minus 2 divided by x2 minus x1 7 minus 3 this will give you 4 minus of minus 2 is 6 7 minus 3 is 4 when you simplify this you will get 3 by 2 so this is how you can calculate the slope of a given straight line on a coordinate plane of course there is another process to calculate the slope when you have the angle of inclination yes we have discussed how to how we see the angle of inclination it can be any, anywhere between 0 and 180 degrees. Now when you are given the angle of inclination, then also using that particular angle you can find the slope by using a trigonometric ratio called tangent for that particular angle of in inclination. We will discuss that later as you, we have not discussed the trigonometric concept here. So there is another way of calculating the slope. But basically when you are given two points on a straight line, this is how you can calculate the slope of the straight line using the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. As usual here we have given, I have given an assignment. You find the slope of the straight lines and you post these answers to me. This is a very very important concept. Slope of a straight line is a characteristic just like the equation of the straight line. The equation of the straight line, the angle of inclination of the straight line and the slope of the straight line, these are all inter related. So you have to understand this concept of straight line, angle of inclination and the slope of a straight line very well to move further into the coordinate geometry. Thank you.